Hi everyone, so our focus today is scale factor and our two goals are to use scale factor to compute missing links and similar figures and also use scale factor to compute perimeter and area in images. So to begin, what exactly is scale factor? Scale factor is the ratio of two corresponding side links in two similar geometric figures. So let's look at some shapes to see what this looks like. So here we have two similar geometric figures, and as you can see, this side with length of 10 corresponds with this side of length of 5. This means that we can use these measurements to find the scale factor. So if we take the bigger side, which is a 10, over the smaller side, which is the 5, this gives us the ratio of the two corresponding sides, which is the definition of a scale factor. This ratio equals 2 which is the scale factor by which the smaller figure is multiplied by in order to become this bigger figure. Now that we have found the scale factor, we can use that to find the missing side. We know that the side length of 4 corresponds with the side length of the question mark. So we can set up a similar ratio like we did before to find the scale factor. So if we put the question mark on top and the 4 on the bottom like we did before, this creates a ratio of corresponding sides, which is the definition of a scale factor. And since we solved for the scale factor before with our known sides of 10 and 5, we know that this ratio must equal 2, because the scale factor of one side applies to all sides of the figure. Now that we have set up this equation, we can solve for the question mark by multiplying the 2 by the 4 to get 8. And now we know the missing side is 8. So now that we have covered finding missing sides using scale factor, we can also find perimeter using scale factor. So as you can see here, the perimeter of the smaller figure is 7 plus 3 plus 5 plus 4, which is equal to 19. Since we know the size of the larger figure, we can try to solve for the perimeter of the larger figure which is 8 plus 10 plus 14 plus 6 equals 38. 38 divided by 19 is 2, which means that the perimeter of the larger figure is 2 times the perimeter of the smaller figure. Coincidentally, using the scale factor that we solved for before when solving for missing sides, these are the same figures. So we know that the scale factor is 2. The scale factor is the exact same as the ratio we found between the perimeter of the larger figure and the perimeter of the smaller figure. This shows that in order to find perimeter using scale factor, you need to multiply the perimeter of one figure by the scale factor in order to find the perimeter of another figure. Remember that the figures have to be similar in order for this to work. So now that we're able to find perimeter and missing sides using scale factors, we also want to be able to find area using scale factors. So here I have two photo frames, and I want to minimize this picture of an ice cream because it's almost summer, so I want to display it in my room. So I am told that the scale factor is one half, so that means that this picture frame right here is one half the size of this picture frame. So if I know this scale factor, then I can use the scale factor to find the missing sides. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and these two sides are corresponding. The same thing can be done for the 6, which corresponds with the bottom side of the rectangle. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so now, if I try to find the area of the smaller picture, that is 2 times 3, which equals 6. We can do the same thing for the larger picture now. And we find that 4 times 6 equals 24. So we can divide the area of the smaller picture by the area of the larger picture, and we find that the area of the smaller picture is one-fourth the area of the larger picture. So where does this one-fourth come from? Well, if you look back at our scale factor, 
One fourth is one half times one half. That means you need to multiply the area of one figure by the scale factor squared in order to find the area of the other figure. So to reiterate, the area of one figure times scale factor squared equals the area of the other figure. And also, the same thing as perimeter and missing sides. The figures have to be similar in order for this to work. 